Okay guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Taurus. This is going to be for the end of your February going into, not, end of your January going into February. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what surrounds you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the end of the month, and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are. Um, and uh, also see what else you guys need to know. Um, keep in mind, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell uh, so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Also, if this message did not resonate, take a look at your other placements. And uh, this could be in anything, okay? So we're just going to see what the cards say. This is nothing specific, just a general reading, all right? What messages do we have for Taurus here? Over energies for Taurus. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect for the end of January going into February? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect? Oh. Right here, the Three of Wands here in the Fool. Okay, so I feel like towards the end of the month, for some of you guys, you guys might be planning to travel here. Okay, uh, Aries energy, also Aquarius energy. Let's see what else we have here. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Moon. I feel like you're using this time or util utilizing your time to reassess something that's been hidden or that you buried or that you swept under the rug for a very long time. You know, these could be fears, this, these could be traumas, shadow work, could be anything. Cancer, Pisces energy with that moon. What else do we have for Taurus? What else do we have for Taurus here? Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords. There's something that you're deciding, trying to figure out what to do here. So I feel like you're utilizing this time to get gather information on what the next steps you're going to take and perhaps pursuing some sort of healing work here, Okay. Ace of Swords, yeah, I feel like you're going through some sort of awakening. You're having some sort of breakthrough. And I feel like this is in regards to something that you swept under the rug here for a very long time. This is something that's hidden, okay? Like I said, this is something hidden. These could be traumas. You know, it could be shadow work that you're not facing here. Uh, three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So uh, this could be you right here. You might have some fire in your chart. Lots of fire energy here I'm seeing. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Strength, yeah, more fire energy right here. Mul perhaps you have multiple Aries uh, placements. We have Leo here with the Strength card. Seems like you're building that courage or you're gaining that courage I'm feeling we have someone here that, where this is the first time they're traveling alone by themselves. Because I'm feeling like that this is just a solo trip. There's no one else involved here. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like uh, this is a trip where you're just going to do you. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay? So there's some big changes that are happening here. And I feel like this is in regard to the stuff that you've brushed under the rug for a very long time. And... Uh, perhaps over and over again, and it's resurface, resurfacing now because we are in the midst of Mercury retrograde, okay? So I would not be surprised if you're feeling overwhelmed, emotional, and you're crying a lot. You have the Six of Cups, yeah. This is some past stuff that is coming up. And I feel like you're facing your past now, okay? You're facing it. You're trying to do, uh, figure out how to go about in healing this pa these past... Um, events that have happened uh, in your life. We have the Four of Swords, Knight of Swords. You might be going on some sort of spiritual retreat here. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy, 
okay? You know, if you're currently dealing with somebody here, I feel like you put this person on pause here too. This could be an ex. This could be, you know, a parent that you've lost touch with, that you have a strained relationship here with, or that this person could have abused you in the past. We have a Seven of Swords here. I feel like with the Seven of Swords, you're no longer running away from this. You're finally facing your fears, okay? I do feel like this, this emperor might be a parent, okay? Either a father figure or a mother figure. I do feel like someone here has some sort of strained relationships or strained relationship with their parents, okay? What else do we have for Taurus here regarding their situation? What else does Taurus need to know? Outcome and advice here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What else does Taurus need to know here? We have the Magician and the Five of Pentacles here. Could be a thing where someone here is taking control of their life, trying to get out of this, like, really, uh, this, getting out of the pla this place of lack, you know, healing their insecurities here, or, you know, um, just tending to their insecurities. I feel like everyone can be insecure, you know? I just feel like, I just feel like, Taurus, you might be in this energy of no longer wanting these insecurities to run your life. You know, I do feel like there could be a struggle with money here, too. We do have the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here also. We have the Two of Cups, okay? We have the Moon again. I'm feeling like someone here has gone through a pattern of meeting people that are emotionally unavailable for them, okay? Um, I, I do feel like it stems from the issues with the parents here. We have the Tower and the Nine of Pentacles. So, Taurus, this is really good. I feel like we have someone here that's working on their... Um, their independence here, being able to stand on their own two feet. You know, it could be a situation where, you know, there's a bit of unhealthy attachment and codependency here too. Even though it's not showing here with the double card, I'm kind of feeling that sort of energy, uh, a needy energy. I feel like that Nine of Pentacles should be in the reverse, but it's in the upright. So it, this is telling me that you're working on this, Taurus. Okay, so Virgo energy, pre empress energy with that uh, uh, Nine of Pentacles, Tower, Aries, Scorpio, uh, Moon, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Gemini, Virgo with that ma Magician. Could be dealing with any of those energies, past, present, or future. You could even have those energies in your chart. Magician. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I really feel like you're facing this. I feel like you're no longer brushing this under the rug you're not walking away you're facing this head on like i said i feel like you're utilizing this time to travel uh to focus on your healing i do feel like some of you guys might be going on some sort of spiritual retreat or something like that okay uh either this is a group or that you're doing this on your own you just have your own planned out or mapped out you have the knight of pentacles here Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with another Taurus here. Two of Cups. You have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. You know, it could be a situation where you're trying to reconcile with someone in your past. I'm feeling more so this is not a love thing. I'm feeling more so this is with a parent or something like that. Uh, but like I said, you could apply this to your own unique situation. I feel like after this, after this whole thing, this travel thing that you go through here, I do feel like maybe there's going to be a, a point where you're going to be um, getting some sort of closure on uh, 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 something from your past that, you know, you, where you never got the proper closure for, okay? So that, that, that judgment card could be, uh, you know, representing that, uh, the moon. Soul, judgment, Sagittarius, Scorpio, energy, the moon. All right, we have an empress here. I mean, I feel like in just a short amount of time, you're going through, you're going to be going through these deep, 
very deep and profound changes. You're gonna wonder why why haven't I why did I do, why didn't I do this sooner? Okay. Uh, the Tower. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Did I see a King of Pentacles here? All right. By the way, we have the Emperor to the Empress here. Okay. This could be a situation. Yeah, I'm feeling like that there's going to be some sort of closure with some parents here. Okay, there's going to be some sort of conversation about this. Maybe you're going to finally get the answers that you're looking for. And I feel like after that, I feel like you're going to be very complete and satisfied with the answers that you're looking for here. Okay, like I said, I feel like you're no longer running from this anymore. You're trying to face it and resolve it. Because I feel like because of this, you know, I feel like you've never really had a healthy romantic relationship with anybody. Okay, so I feel like you're really doing the work here. You're really doing the work here. Um, so, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.